everyone. At some point in your journey of remote learning, you're going to have to learn how to photograph your work. How to best photograph your work. So, first things first, always make sure you have a flat surface and there's no clutter around your artwork because you want that to be the centre of attention. Natural light works best. So, under a veranda or balcony where there's no actual sunny spots, like this, make sure you square up your artwork and you don't hold it at an angle like this. Square it up with the sides parallel to the viewfinder of your camera. Right, Boo Boo? Be very mindful of sunny areas because that is where you'll get shadows which will ruin the effect. So no sunshine, only shade if you're outdoors. Look out for dappled sunlight created by leaves or sun coming through the leaves of your tree. Indoors is great too. Under a window is best because that will give you some nice bright natural light but be very wary of light coming through Venetian blinds, on the other hand. Okay, so I've taken the photos. Now it's time to share them with myself. So I've carefully checked the ones that I want to send. There's a mixture of them. And I'm going to airdrop them to myself. You can also mail them to yourself too. But just make sure that you check your web mail and not your canvas inbox. So your web mail can be found on the school's website. Just scroll down, click web mail and sign in with your normal email. Okay, so I've decided to airdrop them. So I've clicked airdrop and I've selected myself. Now it's giving me the option of opening them in photos or to my downloads. I'm going to open them in my downloads because photos can be quite difficult in that you've got to convert them to a different type of file type in order to be able to edit. So let's just use downloads. So I'm going to click downloads and I'm going to open them all in Photoshop. Okay, so here they are here. Click open with. And I'm going to select Photoshop. And here they are. Okay, so here are my photographs. I've included quite a selection just to show you which ones are acceptable and which aren't acceptable. This one here is not acceptable. Why? Because it's underexposed. In other words, it's too dark. It wasn't taken um, with enough bright light. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, what's wrong with this one? Obviously there was lots of bright light, but there's also shadows. So that's not acceptable either. Next we have this one. Yes, it's taken outdoors and there's quite a bit of light, but it was taken on a strange angle. So the photograph appears distorted. Here's another one. Another, again, this one's taken on a weird angle. So it looks distorted here as well. Okay, finally this one. So this one was taken with great care. It was taken from above. The edges of the image are pretty much parallel with the side of the viewfinder. So that's the viewfinder there. And we can see that it's fairly parallel. It could be better actually, but I think that um, isn't too bad because I can actually crop that and I'll show you how. So here's my photo and the crop tool is over here. So we grab the crop tool and we simply line it up to the edges of the photo. Now, again, as you can see, I could have done better, but even so, I've got enough white space around my drawing 
that it's not so noticeable. There we go. Then we simply click enter and that is now cropped. Now I'm going to add one more step to that before I save it. I'm going to go up here and click image, auto tone. Okay, now that will actually fix my tones up. It will darken my dark tones and lighten my lighter tones and make the photo look a lot more crisp. Finally, we're going to save it as a JPEG. So we'll click File, Save As, and I'll just call it Artwork 1, and I'm going to scroll down here to JPEG. I'll click JPEG, then I'll click Save, and just make sure you know where you've saved it. So I'm going to save it in um, my Art and Design website, and that's it, Save maximum uh, quality is 12. You can sort of scroll up and down there, but I think I'll stick to 12 and I'll click OK. OK, that's done. OK, so now it's time to insert my saved photograph into my Google Slides presentation, into my Visual Arts Process Diary. So here we go. So this is my Google Slides presentation. I'm just going to simply go to, ins I'm going to click actually where I want to insert it. And I'm going to click insert image. I'm going to upload it from my computer. I'm going to now find the fold folder, which is here. I'm going to click documents. I put it in the art and design website photo folder and it's just here and I'm going to click open and there it is. I can actually make it smaller to fit neatly. There we go. Lovely. Now if I wanted to I could crop that on um, Google Slides as well. So all I have to do is go up to this crop tool here, click on that and that will let me crop it if I want to. Of course, I've already cropped it on Photoshop so there's no need, but just in case you didn't crop it on Photoshop, you can do that now. Okay, and there we go. So now it's cropped in further. And that's it. So now you know how to take a good quality photo how to edit it on Photoshop and how to insert it into Google Slides. So good luck with that and looking forward to seeing your artistic creations really soon. Thanks. Bye now.